What I wanna to do today is connect our Notion and Google Sheets apps so that whenever a new database item is created in Notion, a new row will be created in our Google spreadsheet. Zapier is a no-code tool that makes it easier for anyone to automate workflows across 5,000 plus apps. If you don't have an account, there's a link in the description for a free two-week trial so you can try it risk-free. Let's dive in. In order to get started with this workflow, I need to create a zap by clicking the button on the left-hand side of the screen. Because I want my Notion database items to trigger my Google Sheets app, I need to use Notion as my trigger. I can find the app by typing it into the search bar and clicking below. Setting this as my trigger means that anytime Notion sees a new database item is created, it's going to run this workflow. The trigger screen will then pop up. I should click New Database Item as my event and click Continue. The first time we set up Notion, we'll need to authenticate it with Zapier. A link will pop up for you to log into your Notion account. Don't worry, it's totally safe because Zapier uses industry standards for encryption when connecting with each of your apps. I'll put a link to Zapier's security and trust page in the description as well. Next, we'll need to set up our trigger app's data. Click the database you want to use for your zap. I'm going to click Calendar of Events and then click Continue. In order to finish setting up this trigger, we'll need to pull in some example data. To do that, click Test Trigger. You're all set with the first step. Click Continue and we can start creating our first action. I want to set up my spreadsheet so the time and dates of my meetings are on two separate cells. Because of this, I'll have to set up two separate format actions. To do this, I'll need to click the Format button on the Built-in Tools section. First, I'll set up my date format. For my event, I'll click Date slash Time and click Continue. Next, under Transform, I'll click Format. Once I do that, under the Input screen, I should click Date. Under To Format, I'll click the format I want to use for my date only and click Continue. Click Test and Review, and we can move on to formatting our time. Click the Format button once more and click Date Time once more. I'll click Format under the Transform drop-down menu and select Date as my input again. This time, under To Format, I'm going to type in a custom message. I'll type capital HH, lowercase mm, and then I'll click the space bar and type in uppercase A. This will set my time up to read as hours and minutes and will specify AM or PM. Once that's all set up, click Continue. Great! Now our Excel spreadsheet will be formatted properly when Zapier uploads our Notion database items into Google Sheets. Let's move on to our fourth action. Type in Google Sheets into the search bar and select it on the drop down menu. Next, click Create Spreadsheet Row and click Continue. From there, I can select our account and authenticate Google Sheets with Zapier, just like I did with my Notion account. By the way, if at any point you get stuck, Zapier's got an amazing support team that can help you out. There's a link in the description to their forum post for this specific workflow. Click Continue, and it's time to assign our Trigger Apps data into the Action Apps field. First, pick the drive where your spreadsheet is located. I'll click My Google Drive. Next, for the spreadsheet, click the spreadsheet you want your data to appear on. I'm going to click Notion Calendar of Events. Under Worksheet, click the worksheet you want your database creations to be uploaded to. I'll click Sheet 1. Next, I'll start filling out the details on my spreadsheet. For Event Name, I'll click Event Name. For my date, I'm going to click the first output on my date time formatter, and for time, I'll click my second output under the date time formatter. Last, for the sender, I'm going to click sender and then I'll click continue. Click test and review and I should be all set. Yep, there it is. This is ready to turn on. Now, anytime a new database item is created in Notion, a new row will automatically be created in Google Sheets. I hope this was a helpful demo. Zapier can do so much more with these two apps and thousands of others. Check Zapier out. There's a free trial. Click the link in the description.